as soon as I'm out, I get dragged back in. I'm just kidding. My dear viewer, Miss At Shy, suggested doing a Hatched Pals only run. They're worried about my mental health, but that is nothing new. I'm a crazy person, so this most definitely seems like something my crazy self will do. Now I will say, my last challenge took a lot out of me, so I have one singular goal here. I just want to beat the first tower. That's it. I've put some restrictions on myself though. I will not be able to get past level 30. That might change because level 30 seems a little high, but we'll see when we get there. Regardless, that should make this challenge a little more interesting and potentially harder. And hopefully it'll still remain enjoyable for all of you. So let's get into it. Here's our new hero, Witty Name. I couldn't think of a Witty Name, so I named them Witty Name. That in itself is witty, right? Anyway, here we are. As I level, I need to focus on a few stats that I normally don't, such as attack power and crafting speed. Attack power mostly because I will have to fight bosses on my own, so I can craft an egg incubator. And I'm focusing on crafting speed because, well, I don't have the patience not to. I know it's not optimal, but I have the intention span of a small mollusk, so bear with me. I first decided to pick up literally everything I saw because this gave experience. Not a terrible amount, but enough for now. I then started to work on my first set of gear. I built cloth armor, a wooden spear, an old bow, a shield, and 81 arrows. This is the best I'm able to do for now, so onwards and upwards I go, friends. I decided to build my base close to the boss Chillet Arena. It's nothing spectacular, but it's mine. And this is all I need on this lonely road I'm currently on. In preparation for the Chillet fight, I need the fire bow and fire arrows. I'm going to need to take on a lot of fox sparks as they both require flame organs to craft. Oh my goodness. We found our first egg. And it is a large, damp egg. Well, I have absolutely no idea what that'll be. And we're, you and I aren't going to know what that's going to be. For kind of a hot minute. But it's fine. We'll figure it out. Oh, hello. Uh, we got our second egg. And it's a scorching egg. That'll be nice. I'm always interested in getting fire pals. Okay, so I have my first two eggs on this run, and that is so incredibly exciting, but I can't hatch them yet. And that is the opposite of incredibly exciting. It is not exciting. So there is a speedrun strat that I want to try. This will for sure be a cheese if it works, but I think it'll be worth it because if I'm able to succeed in doing it properly, I'll be able to knock out Chill It sooner rather than later. So the thing about Pow World is the fact that it's still in early access and we still have some absolutely wonderful bugs. One bug that I discovered after watching the world record for beating Zoe and Grizzbolt is a bug where the PIDF officers will not shoot at you if you do not look at them. So the cheese here is aggro PIDF officers run up to chill it, have them knock chill it out to almost no health, then I'll hit it a few times, get all the experience, and get all the drops. Okay, got it. Um, maybe I need to practice this more. Before I go on to attempt number two, I wanted to make the rest of the fire as I needed, and I got my fire bow out because I was prepared to fight Chillet on attempt number two. And we begin. I led the PIDF officers all the way up to Chillet, and I was stoked for this. I felt like this was the run, the, the fabled run, you know, like the run where everything's gonna go great. I would be able to knock out Chillet with ease. Well, dear, dear viewer, uh, Chillet is a bull in a china shop when I'm level seven. Chillet started blasting. The PIDF officers started blasting with we old lil me and I died. 
this was indeed a speed bump in my progress, but I did not relent, dear viewer. Oh no. I figured that I could probably come up with a way to cheese the chillet myself without the PIDF officer's help. So here's attempt number three. And you know what they say? The third time is always the charm. So as you're watching this, you're probably thinking that I have a plan. A plan that would for sure net me a profit of ancient civilization parts. Well, uh, you, you'd be wrong. I had zero plans. The only thing that I could come up with on the fly was to try and get to a spot where I would be able to hit chill it and then maybe get to cover when it attacked me. And this part's actually really funny, because at this moment, I decided that the chillet fight wasn't going to happen. I was going to leave and level up, and then suddenly, I realized I had a stroke of luck. I somehow got to a spot where I could hit chillet, and for the most part, it couldn't hit me. I found a cheese that was a total accident. Yes, this was a shameful fight. I do not have any pride in it, but this is how it played out. <laughs> oh my god. That... I'm happy I won. <laughs> but I, um, I don't feel great about that win. <laughs> Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh, that was, uh, huh. That is not how I was planning on, um, beating Chillit for the first time. But, you know, whatever works, works. Okay? <laughs> All in all, this went far better than I was expecting, because legitimately, after my armor broke, I thought for sure that I was gonna lose. My plan wasn't even, and, and again, my plan wasn't even to jump down by that stream. I was just running away because, you know, I was about to die, and I didn't want to die. <laughs> it was uh, simply a happy accident. I learned the egg incubator technology, went back to my base, and I began construction on my egg incubation house. This isn't exactly the best setup, but honestly, I think it looks acceptable and it will function at an optimal level for most eggs, aside from eggs that need a colder environment. But even then, you know, they'll still hatch, they'll just take time. I'll figure something out later for my cold eggs. This is just, this is just what we got for now, okay? <laughs> Ah, this, this is a thing of beauty, isn't it? I feel like I've already came pretty far with just relying on my own skill and cheeses. And it's been a pretty interesting run having to rely only on myself. That being said, I am very excited to see what my first pal will be. I don't really have any sort of expectations here, but I am hoping for a Belazimut. I, that was a joke. I'm assuming it's gonna be a Fox Sparks, which is totally fine, because I really do love those little fire foxes. It's time. Oh man, I'm so excited. Let's see. Oh, an R socks. Wow, I was not expecting that. Holy crap, we have Kindling level 2 and Lumbering level 1. That's, that's amazing. Wow. What, what, <laughs> Whoa, this is great. All right, we'll put on our next Scorching Egg. And while we're waiting for that, I should probably build a Pal Gear Workbench. And on top of that, maybe like a, uh, what is it? The logging site? Is that what it's called? I don't even have it unlocked yet. Yeah, the logging site. I'll unlock all of this. Uh, yeah, that's, that's exciting. I 
was not expecting an art socks. I'm pretty happy about that. That's that's amazing. <laughs> an R socks. Man, that was just too cool. I then went and built my PAL gear workbench because I was going to start getting PALs and I would need their gear. I realized that I never named my very first PAL. This R socks will now be known as R Sin. Everyone, say hello. Okay, now it's time for another egg. Egg number two. Egg number two. Egg number two. It's another R socks. Okay, and it's a female. That's interesting. Um, so we have arson. Arsena. <laughs> All right, we have arson and we have arsena. They love each other. It's great. Okay, what? Uh, let's do the large damp egg. This is gonna take a while, but yeah. Cool. Well, I'll see you guys in 30 minutes. I said I'd see you in 30 minutes for the large damp egg incubation, but that was a lie. Because I ran around in the night with Arson, the R socks, and we tore it up. We were unstoppable. Up until the point that I thought it would be fun and a neat idea to take on this herd of Capriti. Capriti. Capri. These things. Now, I know that if I attack one of them, all of them will pull up on me and start blasting. But at this moment, my past self neglected to remember that fact, and I shot the first shot that was heard around the Palpagos Islands. Oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god. What have I done? What have I done? What have I done? I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. <laughs> oh my god. I... Uh, I don't know what I was expecting. I just wasn't expecting all of them to gang up on me, but... I understand that yeah. strategically that was the best thing they could have done, but holy hell, man, that was horrifying. This night was eventful. Arson and Arsena were leveling up nicely. I got them some good skill fruits, and then I went to bed because I just daggone tuckered myself out. Ah... Today is the 18th of March, and I am 30 years old now. I feel myself turning into dust every single day. You know, I've lived on this planet a long time. At least it feels like a long time to me. And the only advice that I would love to impart to you is try not to care so much. You know, just do you and be proud of that fact. Time flies. I, I feel like my 20s just were gone in an instant. You know, it just, uh, they flew by. Just like this next egg hatching. You know, let's see what it is. Oh my god, we got a pen king. We got a pen king. Oh, I love pen king. Oh my god. <laughs> okay, pen king, your name is gonna be Captain Kid. Oh, heck yeah, dude. We got a pen king. Oh, I'm so excited. That's gonna be amazing. Ugh. 10 out of 10. Ha 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 ha. Pen King, my dog, my boy, my ride or die. I love this dumb pal. Oh man, I am so excited for how the team is looking now. I don't really know what I want to do next, so I think I should probably be focusing on trying to level up and get my pals leveled up. So that's what I've been doing. Things are going well. I got myself and my pals to level 10. I realized that having the pals I do now are great, but I'll need more of a selection. So off I went to hunt for eggs. Before I did that, I crafted the three shot bow, made some arrows, and made the feathered hairband. My defense is now 130, which isn't amazing, but it'll do for now. Anywho, onwards to the eggs. I stopped by and took down a black marketeer, I did this for one singular reason. Uh, I just wanted some gold. That's about it. So I did the tried and true hanging trap slash campfire combo and I waited. I feel bad about this, but hey, I'm 10,000 gold richer now, even though I probably just took on quite a bit of negative karma. On my egg excursion, I found one singular egg. 
A damp egg. Oh my goodness, there's an egg. Good lord. Finding eggs has been incredibly difficult. I'm not gonna have the stamina to climb up that, am I? Oh, come on. Ah, yes, I had the stamina. I went back to my base and I started the incubation process. I then realized that I had a frozen egg in my storage that I completely forgot about. I'll definitely be hatching that next. You know what else you may have forgotten about? Subscribing! Good lord, these are getting worse and worse for each video, and as always, I'm gonna apologize for that. 97% of you that watch aren't actually subscribed, and you may not even know it. So please, take a second and look to see if you are. If you aren't, hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications, as it helps me so much. And as always, I couldn't do any of this without your support. And your support has been absolutely immense and wonderful and so unexpected. I've, I've said it before and I'll say it again, I never thought I would get to this point on my channel. Each and every one of you are helping in making my dream become a reality. So thank you so much. I do not have words to describe how appreciative I am of that. While waiting for the egg to incubate, I felt like it would be a good idea to mine ore in my base. I don't have access to anything at the moment that uses ore yet, but I don't think there's anything wrong with preparing for the future. And to be frank, right now, a lot of this is just a waiting game. So why not? Ooh, a celery. Oh, that'll be awesome to make the celery gauntlets. Okay, cool. Um, not, not amazing, but still pretty cool. I'm, uh, I'm not gonna complain. Heck yeah. I made Celeray's gloves, and then I tested it out for a bit. I went AFK for a bit, and I came back to a level up screen. Since I'm level 11, I was able to unlock the high quality workbench and metal tools. I built the bench, and I made my upgraded tools. Oh shoot, I forgot I had an egg hatching. Egg number four. Oh no, this is egg number five. We gotta chill it! Oh! <laughs> ah! That's amazing! Oh man! What? Oh, what luck! What a fun team! Really? It's an odd team, but it's a fun team. As if things couldn't have gotten more exciting, I had my very first raid happen. Oh goodness gracious, it's our first raid. Okay, um, where are they coming from though? Oh my god, they're all the way down there? Guess we go down here then. Arson, you madman! <laughs> oh my gosh, cool. Well, first ra <laughs> first raid experience. Um, that was that was awesome. A little underwhelming, but awesome. <laughs> <laughs> After all the excitement of that raid, I went back out into the wilderness to find more eggs, and I ended up with three more. I found a large dark egg, a dark egg, and a common egg. I started with hatching the large dark egg, and it takes 30 minutes for it to hatch. So I went back out to find more eggs, and level up, and you, you get it. I found a rocky egg. Oh, is that a... Oh, it's a rocky egg. Oh, that's interesting. I'm uh, pretty excited about that. Huh. Pretty cool. An electric egg and a frozen egg. I then leveled up to level 12 and went back to my base. I worked on my base for a bit. I extended my main house, and I plan on using this new room for storage in the future, and I'm really liking this weird floor plan I got going on. I crafted myself some pelt armor. I then built the logging site and the stone pit. I plan on leaving Arsena here to get wood, as that's been really annoying collecting thus far. I'm hoping one of my dark eggs will hatch into maybe like a tombat because they have level two mining and I would love to have a resident miner in my base, but we'll see. 
With all of these eggs, I'm really thinking I need to get more incubators. I think I'm gonna face chill it a few more times to get the materials I need. Before I go and fight Chillit to get all of the materials for new egg incubators, I think it's time to hatch our large dark egg. All right, large dark egg, here we go. Whoa, a Nox. Well, that's cool. Oh wait, what's, what's the problem with, who are you fighting? What, are you kidding me? You guys are so far away. This is ridiculous. Okay, well, that was exciting. Okay, now, before I got so rudely interrupted, it's pretty cool that we got a Nox. Um, I've never used Nox in any of my playthroughs, so I'm pretty excited about this. All right, Nox, your name will be Zorro. <laughs> All right, so we've started the Rocky Egg. Um, I have no idea what this could be. I'm gonna build a campfire so it'll make it incubate faster. And editing magic strikes again. Look at that, the Rocky Egg is ready to be hatched. Let's see what the Rocky Egg holds for us. Something good. A Dumud. Okay, you know, honestly, not bad. Dumud's going to be a miner. That's actually pretty cool. Not gonna complain about that. Heck yeah. I'm sure you heard it in my voice, but I wasn't stoked about Dumud. Uh, regardless, we are gonna use it, and it's gonna be great. I mean, look at this. As you can see, Dumud's fitting in very nicely. Okay, so a lot happened in between me saying, I wanted to fight Chillit so I could get more materials to make incubators and then actually fighting Chillit. But anywho, we've hatched a lot of eggs and it is abundantly clear that I'm going to need quite a lot of incubators. So I did fight Chillit, I went back to my base to hatch my dark egg, and I got a daydream. Uh, this isn't perfect, but it'll be fine for the base for now, so yeah, daydream. I was able to craft two more egg incubators. I started the incubation for the large verdant egg and my electric egg. My next order of business is leveling up more. I want to get to the point where I can get some better gear and I want to level up enough to craft Arsox's saddle, which is unlocked at level 16. For the time being though, I can just level up to 13 and unlock Chillit's saddle. Before I went out, I gathered all the ore around my base made a hot spring for my lovely pals, and then I put all of the ore I gathered into the furnace. The first stop on my latest excursion will be to my boy Chillit. I need more ancient civilization parts, and Chillit is just the easiest way to get them as of now. Because I was so close to leveling here, the fight with Chillit pushed me over to level 13, and because of that, it is now time to craft its saddle. Ah, now this, this, my dear viewers, is living in luxury. Look at this fun little wiggly body go. I'm sure I would probably get motion sick if I ever rode this, but good God, would it be worth it? Like, look at him. He is having such a good time just existing. I'm jealous. I'm a little jealous. I totally forgot to name my new pals I realized. Thus, Chillit will now be known as Jack Frost, Daydream will be known as Skadi, and Celeray will be known as Randa. If you know where these names are from and comment down below, you win. Um, what do you win? Ah, uh, I didn't think this out. Uh, maybe, uh, mm -hmm, my love and affection? I don't know. Well, uh, I'll, I'll figure it out. I'll figure it out. I went back to my base after exploring around, and Captain Kid, the Pen King, and myself made me a crossbow and a metal spear. Isn't he just adorable and just doing his best? It is time to hatch some more eggs. The common egg gave me a gale claw. This will be amazing when I can actually craft its pal gear for gliding. The electric egg gave me a dozzy that had an artisan passive. 
I worked on my base a bit, and I think I just lost 100 ore due to it falling through the map. This stung a little bit, but I'll get over it. Time heals all wounds. Or I've been told. I went out on my same old quest of leveling up. I fought some syndicate members, fought some pals, found damp egg. I hit this Mazarina so hard with my crossbow that it acted like it was in Tony Hawk Pro Skater 2 and it did a whole backflip. I leveled up to 14. I found a scorching egg. And then finally I found a dark egg. This was a bountiful excursion and I am very excited to show my haul to my pals back home. I'm back home now and it's time to hatch two eggs. The frost egg gave me another chillet, but this one had artisan. And the large verdant egg hashed into a dino awesome. Dino, deny, dino. Dude, I. 350 plus hours in this game, and I still will never pronounce that one right. Dino awesome. I know it's supposed to be like blossom, but they threw in like dino because it's like a dinosaur that has like flowers and plants on it, but. I don't know, man. Uh, so yeah, I hatched a dino awesome. This was incredibly exciting though, because I haven't actually officially unlocked farming for my pals to do. So I built three berry plantations and added Gale Claw and dino awesome into my base. Dew mud isn't bad for watering, but I'd prefer to have a level two watering pal. I'm hoping this damp egg I have will give me something good. I then hatched my next three eggs. The Scorching Egg hatched into a Fox Barks. The Dark Egg hatched into a Mao. The Damp Egg hatched into a Celery. I didn't get the level two watering pal I wanted, but I have two level one watering pals and it's just gonna have to suffice for now. I also know that realistically, I could be doing all of the farming and watering and gathering myself. But again, as I've stated before and time and time again, um, I have the attention span of a mollusk, and there is no way I can hold down a single key on my keyboard to do all of that. My brain would just explode. Anywho, I know I could also use Captain Kid the Pen King, but I would much rather have him on my team than just working on my base. I went out and ran some errands. I got four eggs, two common eggs, an electric egg, and a large dark egg. I then realized I was running low on cash, so I went out to my local bank in the Palpagos Islands, Black Marketeer and Trusts, and I withdrew 12,000 gold. You know, this bank is just so lovely, you could say it's just, it's just a really warm environment. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I went back to my base to start the incubation process of the eggs that I've gotten. I was about to rest my precious little head in my bed, but then I had a raid happen. And like the previous raid, it was indeed underwhelming. What was not underwhelming was the common egg hatching into a swift malpaca. Although I love Chillet, legitimately, I would die for that thing. This is gonna have to be my new riding mount for now, because it's just fast. It's just fast. I'm sorry, it's fast. The electric egg hatched into a Dazi that had Ferocious. This will definitely be a great addition to my team, especially if I craft Dazi's pal gear. I named my Malpaca Joanna. I found a rock egg right when I left my base and started its incubation. I found a Ferdant egg and decided it was time to do my first dungeon. The dungeon was pretty uneventful. I did try to fight every single pal slash syndicate member I saw in hopes of leveling up. I got to the boss and Captain Kid, the Pen King, absolutely destroyed everyone and everything. I did end up leveling up to 15, so all in all, this was a great run. I got back to my base and hatched two eggs. The common egg gave me a gale claw and the rocky egg hatched into a fuddler. Although these pals I'm getting are really cool and I like them, and they all have their own specific uses, I'm not really getting anything amazing for Zoe and Grizzbolt. I'm thinking I'm going to need to level up quite a bit more and then explore the higher level areas for better eggs. So that's what I did. Ah ha ha ha, I lied, that's not what I actually did. 
What I actually did was I used some Pal Souls on Captain Kid, the Pen King. I taught it some grass and electric type moves. Why did I teach it grass moves? I don't know. But then I went to fight the boss as a robe. This fight was difficult. Like, holy crap. I don't know what it was, but man, that dragon cannon move as a robe kept doing would hit me even if I were to dodge. I feel like that was kind of the main reason why this fight was so difficult, and at one point I really thought I was gonna lose, but Captain Kid and I, my ride or die, we pulled through. I traveled to the ancient ritual site to start looking for better eggs. I'm definitely a little worried about being in this area as I am still very under leveled here, but this is going to be a risk that I'm going to have to take to find some better pals. I found two frozen eggs, I found two large dark eggs, I found a common egg, and then a tree that was growing despite being completely underwater. That's a strong tree dog. I stopped by my bank again, Black Marketeer and Trust, and made a withdrawal of 13,000 gold. Always such a warm and inviting environment here. <laughs> I found another large dark egg, and finally I found another frozen egg. I think it's time to go back to my base and hatch some of these babies. I hatched my previous two eggs. I didn't get anything too amazing. I placed all three of the large dark eggs in my incubators. I then sat down staring at the tower that I knew I'd have to take on soon. I watch as the sunrise cracks the sky right open with light. The sky looks like it's on fire. I wonder myself if this were a warning of things to come, but how could such a beautiful sight be a bad omen, I thought. That's a question that I don't think I'm going to get the answer to, is that maybe I interpreted the sunrise wrong. Maybe this wasn't an omen, but a word of encouragement. Or honestly, dude, maybe it was just a sunset. Good God. Anywho, I went to fight Grintail for the first time and it went amazingly. Zoro the Nox was an absolute monster against Grintail. It was a little annoying in the fight as a couple syndicate thugs decided to try and intervene in the fight, but they were handled pretty quickly. Zoro is cute, but my God, it is scary. Looks can be deceiving. I, I, I am sad that I had to take out Grintail, though. I love the stupid cat bus looking pal. My biggest fear then happened. Okay. Okay. Oh, man. I did not want this to happen. So, in this run, there is no lucky clause. None. Uh, I will never get a lucky... Um, if I see one, I either have to fight it or just ignore it. Now, I'm going to fight it because I get ancient civilization parts from Luckies, I think. Um, and it's good for experience. This sucks. I knew it was going to happen. <sighs> I just wasn't prepared for it. Yeah. That hurt. <laughs> that hurt so bad. <laughs> I'm so sorry, Krevis. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I went to fight Pen King next. I moved over the lucky Dazi I hatched, and I named her Lucia. I then fought some pals to level her up. While fighting pals, I leveled myself up to 16. This unlocked Arsox's saddle, so I went home, crafted it, made some heat-resistant pelt armor, then moved Zoro the Nox back into my party. Back to leveling up Lucia the Dazi. I ran a couple of dungeons and got her up to level 16. I feel like this is a good enough level now and I am ready to take on Pen King. Before I did that though, I hatched the three large dark eggs in my incubators. I got a Catrice and two Maraiths. Mara, Mara Maraiths. The horses with the face. I, I, I don't know. Maraiths. I put three more eggs into my incubators, and I set off to fight Pen King. The fight with Pen King went off without a hitch. My first goal was taking out the Pengulates, as I did not want to worry about them chipping away Lucia's health or mine. 
once we took them out, taking out Pen King was very easy. Uh, I, I, I don't know what the Pen King was smoking, but it got itself stuck in a corner. And because of that, it just had to take all of the damage that we were outputting. It was a pretty great outcome for me. I decided to go back to the Ancient Ritual site area. I'm kind of at a standstill on bosses until I level up more. So it's now time for a grind. I found a large electric egg. Then I leveled up to 17. I went back to my base and hatched three eggs. I got two Sui and one Nightwing. And you know, I know I can use Nightwing as a flyer, but um, have you guys ever read Paldex entries? Because holy shit, dude, Nightwings is horrifying. Let me, let me just read this off to you. It carries newborn pals to its nest and raises them as a surrogate parent. Aw, isn't that great? But wait a minute. Once the baby pal has fattened up, it hunts them. Bro, these things are unhinged. Regardless, I do need a flyer. Uh, so I crafted its saddle and I named it appropriately. I tried to assign Doomud to my stone pit unsuccessfully, so I yeeted it off of my base. And funnily enough, it instantly went on a short break after I did this, which is hilarious. How the hell did you get back up here, dog? I needed more Paldium fragments so I can make a mega shield. Off to mining I go. Okay, that's enough. Now it's time to try my new flying mount. Oh my god, this is awful. Why? Why is it so slow? And what is this stamina? Holy crap, this is awful. I finally got back to my base and I crafted my new shield. I hatched a scorching egg and got another fox sparks. I then started the incubation of another frozen egg and went out to level up more. You know, it's really, really funny because I was just about to write how happy I was that I was now strong enough and a high enough level that I could start eradicating Gale Claw. I have a huge disdain for them. You know, I've, I've talked about it before, but I don't know if they woke up on the wrong side of the bed or somebody pissed in their Wheaties. I don't know. All I know is they are so angry and will attack on sight. So the, the funny part about this is, like I said, I was going to write into this script how I was very excited that I could kill them. And then I immediately got bullied by like four of them. Ah, things did not go well on this excursion. Arson the Arsox got knocked out. I threw out Lucia the Dazi and almost had it beat. Only for me to get killed. Then right after I died, that's when Lucia knocked out Robin Quill. Thank you, Lucia. Your timing is impeccable. Here's a fun tip if you did not know. Rather than waiting the 10 minutes for your knocked out pal to heal, you can actually just assign it to your base and then one of your pals will be a rescue ranger. Also, if you know what I'm talking about here, then you get bonus points. Anywho, it'll be a rescue ranger and it will pick it up, carry it to a bed, and then once your knocked out pal gets into a bed, it's gonna be revived. Thus, you don't have to wait the 10 minutes for it to revive in the pal box. I repaired my armor and I hatched another frozen egg to get a sweet, then set out once again. And my main goal of this excursion, like always, is to level up and level up I did. And I got eggs. I found a scorching egg. I then leveled up to level 18. I found a frozen egg directly after that. I traversed into the desert, found a damp egg, found a dark egg and a common egg. I found a large scorching egg on top of Anubis's statue's head, so that was neat. I then left the desert and found another dark egg. I hit level 19, I found, oh, you guessed it, a dark egg and a frozen egg. And then I went back to my base and hatched two of my large electric eggs. And then I went to go incubate my other tens of eggs. <laughs> Oh man, a swift Rayhound. Oh, that's gonna be amazing. Very excited. And a beacon! Oh my god. That's awesome. But uh, what level do I learn their saddles? <laughs> uh.
Oh, it's bad. Oh, it's real bad. Okay, we can't learn Rayhan Saddle till 36, and I'm pretty- or er, 26, and Beacons isn't until 34. Ow. That- <laughs> that hurts. My- my body- my body hurts. <laughs> Both of these are awesome. But I, I can't make our saddles until level 26 and 34, respectfully. I started the incubation process on another three eggs and just kind of wondered what my next steps would be. I know I just need to grind leveling up, but it really is starting to get a little tedious. Before I went out again to level up, I built a ranch for Mao. This will be nice for a small amount of passive income while I go out and explore. I then changed my pal team up. I added Orpheus, the Rayhound, and put Lucia, the Dazi, into my pal box. I went and fought Chilled again, broke my crossbow, then went back to my base to repair it. I checked on my eggs, and I hatched two more. The Dark Egg hatched into a Mao, and the Common Egg hatched into another Nightwing. I left two more eggs there to incubate, and I set out to run some more dungeons. I ran a low-level dungeon, and it was pretty uneventful. The only thing of note was the boss's minions were um, possessed after death, I think? Oh my god, <laughs> what is happening? It's still going! <laughs> okay, I got stuck on the rock. Is the other one? Oh, yeah, the other one's still going. Look at it. This feels... I don't know, I feel like in a horror movie, this is what happens when somebody gets possessed. Is it done? Is it? No, it's not done. Okay. Good lord. Okay, fun. Anywho, I got too excited, and my own hubris is the thing that knocked me out. I went and tried a level 29 dungeon. For the most part, I was doing relatively okay until I met a Catris that was having none of my shit. I wasn't watching my health, and I got unalived. I respawned at my base and repaired my armor. I then hatched three more eggs. I got a Fox Sparks, a Dew Mud, and the large Scorching Egg gave me a Bushi. Things were going pretty well. I dropped off another three eggs and I went over to my pal box and put Bushi into my base rather than Arsena the Arsox. I then swapped Satan the Nightwing for Satan the Second. I did this because it had Stronghold Strategist, and my first Nightwing had Brittle. Stronghold Strategist gives me a 10% defense buff, while Brittle gave my pal a 20% defense debuff. Okay, so as a content creator, I feel like this video is getting repetitive. You know, uh, the, the recipe is I get eggs, I hatch them, I go kill an egregious amount of pals to level up, then rinse and repeat. So rather than showing all of that and taking up more of your time, dear viewer, I did a lot of the rest of this off screen. So hey, hi, let's talk about what's been going on in the life of Witty Name. My pals and I are currently level 25 and my stats goes as follows. 1500 health, 120 stamina, 116 attack, 275 work speed, and 450 weight. While leveling up, I mostly focused on my health and attack. I did a few improvements to my base, I built a weapons workbench, I ran into another Lucky that I was forced to take down. Huh, okay, well, uh, exciting and scary all at the same time. So this is our second Lucky that we have found on this save, and as you guys know, there is no Lucky there's no lucky claws in this run so we have to kill it and i have 20 arrows in my inventory i wasn't expecting this we'll just have to see how this goes i think arson will be fine oh god <laughs> maybe i won't be fine good lord holy hell Oh, yeah, I don't know what I was worried about. God, that hurts me every time. <laughs> oh, man. I made myself some heat-resistant metal armor and a metal helmet. 
I traveled to Fisherman's Point and bought some coarse ammo. I leveled up to 26, and then I made myself a makeshift handgun. Since I leveled up to 26, I wanted to make Rayhound's saddle. I needed to get some pallium fragments and a few more electric organs. Oh, well, hello. <gasps> there is a lucky lift monk. Okay, well. <laughs> uh, I was going to be doing a quick little shot of me getting my, uh, my, my pallium fragments and electric organs, but I guess this is now going to be... Here's me uh, taking out another Lucky, and okay, now, now, I, are you kidding me? Bro, what? What is going on? <laughs> oh, any other time, this would be so cool. Huh, all right, well. Uh, two luckies, literally back to back, that I had to kill. I'm hurting. Um, yeah, my body hurts. But it's fine. It's fine. This is for the content. This is for the content. I got the pallium I needed, then I got sidetracked, and I fought Quiverin again. I went to the desert, I got the electric organs that I needed, and then I went back to my base to craft Rayhound's saddle. And oh good lord, this is so much better than our socks. The speed! And wow, did you know that Rayhound could double jump? This is actually the first time I've ever used this pal, so this is news to me. I ran over and fought the Chillet with my new steed, and it dropped the legendary cloth outfit. That would have been so nice, like, I don't know, a week ago, but it's still cool to have. I hatched a few more eggs. Uh, the coolest thing I got was a van worm. I swapped this out for Satan the Second, made its saddle, and named it Izanagi. Okay, so at this point, I don't feel like I need to level up anymore, to be honest. My main goal now is just getting some skill fruits for all of my pals. Oh my god. <laughs> really, dude? Okay, all right. Get Captain what? Kid out. Dang, man, that's that sucks. I. <laughs> I really, really like Fuddler, and <laughs> it's lucky so big. Ugh. It's fine. It's fine. This isn't my main save. It's just a challenge run. Okay. All right. I've, I've talked myself off the ledge now. Everything's fine. <laughs> I ran around all of the Palpagos Islands, and I got far too many skill fruits. I taught my pals quite a bit of different moves, then I wanted to level up Izanagi the Van Worm to 27 like my other pals were. So dungeons it is. I got Izanagi up to level 25 and felt like this was good enough. I used Pal Souls to level Orpheus the Rayhound up a little bit, uh, hatched an electric egg to get a Dazi, and then I believed that it was time. It was time to end this and fight the first tower. So here, Witty Name stands, looking upon this foreboding tower. Will he survive and achieve the goal he set out for? Will this all be for naught? No. No, Witty Name spent so much time preparing. The bonds he forged with his pals will be strong enough to take on Zoe and Grisbold. Witty Name's resolve was not shaken and he went inside.
There were two Titans on the battlefield unlike any other. We have Zoe and her absolutely savage Grizzbolt, and we have Witty Name and Orpheus the Rayhound that was raised since it was just a mere egg. Would the bond that they shared be enough? Did Witty Name forget to change Orpheus's move set and have to change it mid battle? The fight raged on for what felt like minutes. <laughs> Okay, enough theatrics. Listen, this fight was fairly easy. I for sure came over prepared, which is an ongoing theme in these challenge runs. I know, I know. It's just it's just how I am, you know? Like I I don't want to get to the tower and just absolutely fail it, you know? I uh Every video, I try to make a story out of it and try to make it interesting. And I don't know, I think losing would not be interesting, but I don't know. I guess like all heroes need to lose sometimes in stories. So eh, maybe it would make it interesting, but anywho. Ooh. Okay, honestly, that, that was not that bad um yeah i don't know my my well first let's feed the pal here i don't know you know um i feel like i didn't put strict enough um rules here uh because you know i'm what level 26 and uh, I don't know, that, that was a lot easier than I expected. But regardless, that, that was the challenge that I set out for myself and that was the goal. I just wanted to beat the first tower and with all of this newfound success on this channel, it's been hard for me to place boundaries on myself. You know, I, in all of my other videos, I'll get through the first tower and be like, oh my God, that was so easy. I'm gonna go take on all the other towers. And then that equates to like another 30, 40 hours of, you know, gameplay time and editing and all of that. And on, on top of this, I have a full time job. Um, so I'm just going to leave it here. I, I will say if, if you guys want to see a continuation of the egg only run, um, please let me know down in the comments. I am totally down to continue this series, but only if you enjoy it. So if you've made it this far, thanks a lot. I appreciate you more than words will ever be able to describe. So yeah, that's it. This challenge was easier than others I've done for sure. It definitely had a much slower start than the others, but once I was able to get an all right team of pals, this wasn't all that bad. Like I said before, if this interested you and you enjoyed it, let me know. I would be so down to make this a multi-part series and try to take on the rest of the towers. And as a final hoorah, we have two more eggs we can hatch. Let's see what we get. The large verdant egg gave us a dino awesome. Okay, that's fine, I guess. And the large common egg gave us a grin tail. Oh my God. Wouldn't you guys like to see me play with that grin tail and beat more towers with that grin tail? Oh man, think about it. Anywho, my dear viewer, thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a fantastic day. And um, yeah, that's it. Okay, bye.